Well then, good morning everybody. And Lou. Okay, what are we going to do today? Um, basically, I know that we're currently selling these uh, Q88 7 inch Android tablets um, for 60 whole British pounds. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you a quick review of what they are, uh, of what they're for, because they are probably the most affordable Android tablet that's currently on the market here in the UK. Um, obviously, you can get them throughout the world. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you, I wanted to be open and honest about what they are, what they're for, um, and basically what you get, you know, to help you to make sure you're buying the right item. Okay. So to give, give you a quick rundown, basically, if you're, well, let's do this in reverse order first. If you're wanting to, oh, if you're wanting to do gaming. Um, and a lot of, you know, big computer work, then go and spend six or seven hundred pounds on a really high-end, big-screened laptop, yeah, or a big desktop, like the one I've got in front of me. Um, you know, that's, this Android tablet is not for that. It's as simple as that. Um, however, if you're wanting to do a few PowerPoints, Excel, uh, homework for school, for college, uh, for work, those kind of bits and pieces, go and get yourself a netbook. These are, are great for publishing, you know, publishing Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoints, um, emails, all those kind of bits and pieces, but these won't play games that very well at all. Um, so yeah, on the move, great, bag sized, great. It's a Windows netbook. Okay, fairly simple. Um, if you want to get a tablet that's a tablet size that's going to play the more expensive apps, the more expensive games, um, and you want a tablet computer, uh, then go and spend sort of three hundred pounds on a big ten-inch tablet. An iPad, um, a, you know, or, or a, like, like this one, an Advent Vega. Th then feel free to do that because these are powerful tools, and used correctly, they are a, a good tool for the job. Um, but you know, 150 pounds second hand, 300 pounds brand new, 500 pounds if you want to get an expansion card. And, but forgetting all that rubbish, if you want to go on. Facebook, Twitter, um, eBay, emails, surfing the web, uh, playing a few apps, uh, the, the cheaper, lower end apps, yeah, um, making Skype calls, you know, general web use, as I would sort of low end web use, as I would say, um, then this does the job. You know, it's seven inch, it's handy, it's small, it's light. Um, you, you can get apps on there, the iPlayer, um, you can go on Sky Go, Facebook, Twitter, you can play Angry Birds, so it's great for the kids, the grandkids, um, if you want to stick them in a corner and keep them quiet for a bit. Um, you can browse the web quite easily, it supports Flash Player, it supports Google Play, um, Skype, it's a really good quality high definition screen you know I, I've been quite impressed with the screen itself the, the only downfall to something this sort of size um, number one if you drop this on a hard surface it's game over it's done you know it's not going to survive um, and replacing a screen on something like this is probably going to be more expensive than replacing the whole tablet itself um, auto rotation, ebook reader, uh, general browser, you know, Facebook. Like I said, it, it is what it it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's an affordable, small tablet. The the only downfall, like I said, is when you want to type something, when you want to type an email, um, when you want to type something onto a web browser if you're updating your 
Facebook page, if you're updating a website, um, that's when the problems arise with something like this. Because even though you do have the Android keyboard, um, if I can try and find you something very quickly, if I go on my status, doo -doo 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 -doo. what's on your mind? You see how the Android keyboard pops up? Uh, so even if you're on the go, it works great. But if you're wanting to type a lot and using the shift key and using um, characters and stuff, it can become quite difficult. So what we do with every one of these that we sell, you get one of these free. It's a case at the end of the day. It keeps it protected. It's got a little stand on the back so you can stand things up. But more importantly, it's got a keyboard on it. Uh, extremely easy to fit straight away. You know, put it in. Push up, drop down. You get the little cable. Pop the little cable in. It only fits in one way round. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, it it comes from being um, a general use to a more involved use tablet. Uh, you can then go onto Google and search specifically for things. You can type emails. You know. You can do a lot more, quite simply, by adding a keyboard. Um, so yeah, you know, you can set up your email account. You can type. Makes life a lot easier. It's protected. Magnetic claps. If it drops, it's not going to break. It's as simple as that. So, open, honest, and brutal. At the end of the day, if you want a tablet for social media, general surfing, while you're in the car while you're sat on the sofa, um, while you're lying in bed wanting to watch a bit of TV on certain kind of apps. Uh, this really is for you. Uh, if you want to do more professional items, if you want to be able to play the bigger games, the bigger applications, um, then this is not for you. Android 4.0 is smooth, it's sleek, uh, it's internal storage is 4 gigabytes. I would recommend that you buy an extra SD card to expand that. You can take pictures, Skype calls. It is what it is. It's as simple as that. Um, what comes in the box? You get the tablet, you get the keyboard, you get a stylus pen, um, you get the charger, which is a, a UK charger. You get a USB lead so you can interact with your computer. Um, and you get the adapter to adapt from a normal USB cable to a micro one, which is right here. On the tablet itself, if I take it out of the case very quickly, take the keyboard out, it is very simple. Um, like I said, you've got the 7 inch multi touch screen. Yeah? Um, on the side, you've got volume control, you've got headphones, on the top, You've got the power button, you've got the USB, you've got the power adapter, you have the microphone, you've got a little camera. On the rear, you have a place where you can put the SD card. You've got a couple of icons on the back which tell you what every hole is for. And you've got a speaker. It's simple, it's easy, it's affordable, it's light. That's it. Atraxtablets.com. £60. 60 of your great British pounds, free shipping, free case. Thank you for the review. See you next time.